everyone, tonight's video is going to be a tag video. I love doing these because they're just fun. And the one I'm going to do is the 30 beauty questions. So the first question is, do you remember your first makeup item? Now, I can't remember my first makeup item, but one of the things I definitely know that I bought, and it was because it was so, so popular in the 80s, was Rimmel's Shimmer, Heather Shimmer and Coffee Shimmer lipsticks. Now, I believe they did bring them back. I don't know if they do still have them, but I know for sure that I did definitely get them, so I will say that. The second question is... Describe your perfect mascara. Have you found one that fits your applications? Eh, specifications. So I get for take my glasses off, but you'll get glare in the camera. Let's see if I put them on. Ooh, you might get a bit of glare. Yeah, you're going to get glare. Anyway, means I can see what I'm reading. So, mascaras. Um, I like the YSL Volume Effect Mascara. Because it's really black, really lengthening, and I don't have the best eyelashes. And I've got a big gap there where I had chicken pox. I really don't have very good lashes. So I like that one. It also smells amazing. All YSL products smell amazing. They smell like a watermelon. And it lasts a really long time. And yeah, I just really like it. I love MAC Extended Play. I don't have one at the minute. It's about £14 and it's really good, particularly for your bottom lashes. And it's, it really defines if you don't have much lashes. Another one that's good at defining lashes is a Max Factor Masterpiece. I find that that really defines what very little that I do have. I am loving the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. It just seems to it really is spot on. It really does give me lashes. Like they're there. You can see them. Another one, I think it was the Maybelline Angel Veil. Now, I don't have any of these apart from the Bad Girl Bang to show you. But if it's something you would be interested in, I could collect some mascaras and do a video. And I could maybe do like a review comparison with them like showing you an eye with it on and an eye without it on so you can let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would like to possibly see the third question is what kind of coverage do you prefer from foundation i prefer a dewy finish to a matte i've never really tried a lot of matte foundations if i'm honest and i used to be all about gotta cover that face full on full coverage foundation but even though I've got all these lines and these lines chicken pork marks and spots and freckles I actually really quite like a medium to light coverage I quite like still being able to see my freckles and a bit of my skin coming through Favourite high-end brand? Oh god, this is so hard for me to pick. I am by no means a makeup snob, even though I'm sure some people think I am. I'm not. But I do believe you get what you pay for. You know, some cheaper brands are just as good as the high-end brands. But since this is talking high-ends, I would say I like Bobbi Brown, Charlotte Tilbury. I love MAC lipsticks. Eh... Uh, I've got some Hourglass products that I like. I like Benefit. I like YSL. I'm trying to think of the most. I really like Chanel foundations. And it's not because the name Chanel or whatever. I just really like the formula of them. That's probably my favourite high-end brand for foundation. But yeah, those are the brands I think I will see. And number five is, what cosmetics brands have you always wanted to try but still haven't? Um, Marc Jacobs. I would like to try the Marc Jacobs eyeshadows and I would like to try 
their coloured liners because they look really good. Other brands, I've never tried any from from a Givenchy or Givenchy or oh, other brands. Loads of American brands that you just can't get here, to be honest. Um, I can't think of any more at the, at the minute. If I think of any more, I'll leave it in the description bar. Because when you come off from answering these, that's when you remember. <laughs> Six, favourite drugstore band. My favourite drugstore drug brand would be a Maybelline. And I also like Bourjois. They have some really nice products. Um, trying to think. L'Oreal do good items as well. I like the Revolution Soph palette, the original one. And I like their um, Conceal. You know that, I always forget the name of it, but you know the concealer that is the, supposed to be like Shape Tape, like Tarte Shape Tape. Oh, Tarte's another brand that I love throw that in there for the high end because it's really good um yes and i like nyx nyx is really good as well do you wear fake lashes the answer to that would be no uh, a couple of times my friend has put fake lashes on me and they've been okay they kind of irritated me a little bit i've got a couple of pairs there i buy them and i never ever pop them on so no but 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 Number eight, is there any kind of makeup you can't leave the house without? Well, I don't have to wear makeup to leave the house. I pretty much don't wear makeup every single day. I've got nothing on just now. Um, but if I was wearing makeup and I was going out, I will always make sure I've got a couple of lipsticks in my bag so I can swap it up if I want. And I always have a lip balm. That's not really makeup, but... It's always a lip product of some kind that I'll have on me, so probably a lip product. But I would never, if I was going to go out and wear makeup, I would never not wear like foundation and mascara. Nine, what is your most treasured beauty product? Oh god, that's really difficult. Um, I suppose it would be my Master by Mario palette because it's the first ever Anastasia Beverly Hills item that I ever have been given and I got it from my lovely partner and I was so so overwhelmed to receive it so I'm going to say that. Number 10 how often do you shop for makeup? Do you like to pick up an item here and there or get loads of goodies at once? I like a bit of both. Um, I try my best not to buy makeup too often, but now with doing this channel, I tend to pick up makeup more regularly. Sometimes I pick the odd little bit up and sometimes I like to get it so that I can do a whole video. Excuse me. Number 11. Do you have a beauty budget or you spend freely? I do spend freely. And I shouldn't. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> 12. Do you utilise coupons, rewards cards and sales when you shop for cosmetics? Of course. If you can get things on the sale or there's an offer on or something or you've got a voucher, absolutely, 100%. I definitely do. But then I get carried away and buy stuff that aren't in the sale. So it defeats the purpose. 13. What type of product do you buy most often? That would be lipsticks and eyeshadow palettes, without a doubt. Is there a brand that you absolutely can't stand? Sorry, but it would be Revolution. The only two things that I like from Revolution is the Sofa Original palette. I haven't tried the other one and I'm not going to get it because it's not shades that I would like. And as I say, that concealer, it's classy. It's probably not going to be to hand though. Oh, you all know the one I mean. The one that's like the shape tape conceal and define or something. That is actually really good and I actually prefer it to tart shape tape. But on a whole, other Revolution products I have tried, no, nah, they're just not for me. 
and I'm not actually a massive fan of Rimmel. I like Rimmel mascaras and I do like their Wake Me Up foundation, but other than that, it doesn't last. Okay. 15. Do you avoid certain ingredients in cosmetics like parabens or sulfates? No, I can safely say I don't. Uh, 18. No. God's sake, I can't even see it. 16. Do you have a favourite place to shop for makeup? Um, department stores. I like going into department stores like Debenhams, House of Fraser, John Lewis places like that. It's really good to go to the counter, to see the stuff, to try things on, ask for samples. I just love it. And if I could, I would love to go to a Sephora. But we don't have them in the UK, so. Okay, 17. Do you like trying new skincare products or do you keep to a certain routine? If you have seen my current growing skincare collection, you will know the answer is no, I do not stick to certain products. Sometimes I think I should do because I guess it's probably not good for your skin to be chopping and changing all the time and it's good to maybe stick to the same things in the same brand. Now for a while I did stick to Just Elemis but again getting beauty boxes, doing this channel, being a complete and utter lover of all things cosmetics and beauty related, I can't help myself so I don't use the same stuff all the time and I mix it up because I've got so many different cleansers and serums and all that jazz, you know, but I never get through them. Obviously if something really breaks me out or doesn't irritate me or something, I will, you know, discontinue using it. But on a whole, no, I stick to the same kind of routine, but not the same products. 18. Favourite bath and body brand? Mmm. My favourite shower gel is Nivea Starfruit and I can only seem to get it in home bargains. Uh, I quite like Redox shower gel. I like the Soap and Glory original scented one. You know the one that smells like Mist Your perfume which is like, I think it's like the righteous smell it's called. I love that. Uh, what else? I like um, the Rituals of Sakura um, Cherry Blossom and Rice Milk range by Rituals. It is lovely if we're talking luxury products. Mm, any other luxurious bath stuff? Oh, I don't know. Body Shop. The Body Shop do some really good shower gels and body butters and I love the pink chocolate ones. They need to bring that range back. And I love the mango, the pink, grapefruit, strawberry, the whole shop. <laughs> 19. If you could only buy from one brand, which brand would you choose? That's really difficult. I actually don't think I can answer that because I like so many different things from different brands. I can't answer that, I'm sorry. 20. What brand do you think has the best packaging? Um, I think Too Faced always do good packaging, don't they? They really, really do make good packaging. They just, they just do it so well. So Too Faced. 21. Which celebrity always has great makeup? I think Holly Willoughby has got fantastic makeup. I think Nick and Sam makeup artists that do Pixie Woo here on YouTube. Uh, Anna Sacconi from the Sacconi Jolies. I think she always has lovely makeup. Um, who else? Hmm. My friend Charmed Wench, who also does YouTube and Diary of a 40 something. They are amazing at makeup and they do it so well. They always look great. 22. Do you belong to any online makeup communities? Um, I am in the UK Makeup Addicts, I think it's called, Facebook group. And I think that's it, really. Okay. What's this? Hold on, hold on. 
23. Five favourite beauty gurus. That would be Kathleen Lights, Trina Dura, Diary of a 40 something, Charmed Wench, and. Mm. Who else? I don't know. Oh, Pixie Woo, of course. What am I like? Honest to God. Memory blank. I don't even know. I might have even said Pixie Woo tonight. Tanya Bar is also really good. I know that's more than five. <laughs> 24. Do you like multifunctional products like lip and cheek stains? Um... I'm not really fussed either way, to be honest. It's handy if you're travelling to have multi-purpose things. 25. Are you clumsy in putting on makeup? I can be. Let's be honest. Yes, I can be. 26. Do you use makeup base and primer for the eyes? I try to remember to use primer and primer for my eyes, but not always to remember. How many hair products do you use on a typical day? Uh, on a typical day, if it's, I wash my hair every second day, so every second day I'll use a Batiste dry shampoo. Other than that, that's about it. I don't really put anything on my hair. I put a hair mask on a couple of times a week when I'm washing my hair and I'll always use heat protector spray when I'm blow drying my hair and I'll put coconut oil on the ends of it if I haven't used a mask because I don't want to put too many products on it. What do you apply first, concealer or foundation? Always foundation. Do you ever consider taking makeup classes? Yes, I have. I've considered doing makeup classes. I would love to be better at it, but I just haven't done it. I don't have a lot of confidence in myself. I'm very self-doubting. So even though it's something I'm passionate about and I love, I know I would feel self-conscious in a class with other people because I'd be like, they're amazing and I'm not and that's just the way I am. And the last question is, what do you love about makeup? I just love makeup. I love the way it makes me feel. I love applying it. I love the different looks you can create with it. I love the different colours and textures you can get. It just, it just brings me happiness. I, I don't... It's just, I just love cosmetics and everything makeup. It brings me so much joy. It, it's just my passion. It's my thing. It's what I collect. And for as long as I'm alive and I can afford to add to my collection, I will. So yeah, that is the 30 questions. So if you want to do this tag, then feel free. I'm not going to tag anyone specific. And yes. I hope you enjoyed finding out a bit more about my beauty loves. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and I will speak to you very soon. Bye!